We're starting a new sequence. So welcome to Workshop Wednesdays, where we ring we widgets which were within. We're gonna pull the good stuff out of different stuff and show you how much it's worth. Is it worth doing? We're gonna find out. So grab your tools, pull up a comfy chair, and let's give this a go. Today's project, we're gonna rip open a circuit breaker and see what's good. This one's pretty new and it's only got one pair of those things. So I'm not expecting much, but we're still gonna get into it and see what it's got for us. Using the drill, cause we ain't got all day. Piece of steel. All right, now this one kind of sucks. I think it's a good example of what you're gonna run into these days. Check this out. We got two breakers and all of these things and there's nothing hooked up. It looked like somebody barely even used this one. So that'll make it pretty easy. These are made out of aluminum. Let's get those out. I find these things can be a real pain in the butt because they've usually got flathead screws which the head tends to slip out of. And when they're all full of wire, well, it's a lot of screws to pull out that keep slipping. Let's do it anyway. So I do find it's nice to start them by hand. Because they're pretty tight and otherwise the drill is just, oh, it's going to be a mess. Speaking of that, I'm going to put on at least one glove so I don't hurt myself. I don't actually have an accent. I don't know why I talk about that sometimes. I think it's because I live in Alberta. You know what I mean? Slip, slip, slip. I'm gonna take all these ones out while it's in. You see what I'm talking about though, it's a real pain in the butt. And that's the pile. Now we got all this. These ones are on there real tight for some reason, so I'm just gonna get them with the grips. Good, so since I can't seem to get this off, I'm just gonna leave all of these on there. Because dirty aluminum is dirty aluminum. Moving on. This one here has got a bunch of plastic bits melted. I bet this will work. Works pretty good. Next. Get that off. We're gonna throw that breaker in the box of breakers. Oh, got it. And then this bad boy. Time for the Allen key. Not that Allen key. Found it. Okay, so that pretty much finishes off that one. What are we looking at? This tiny pile is our clean extruded aluminum. You can tell this is aluminum because it does not have that silver patina color and it bends really. This is dirty aluminum. I can't get all the steel. I mean, I might be able to, but I'm not going to. And that is a pile of steel. Oh, and one circuit breaker. I call that kind of a waste of time. Why don't we look at something a little more interesting? Now I've already cut the majority of the wire out of this one, save for the biggest pieces. But you can see what I was talking about with all of these little bits and bobs. If you want those pieces of extruded aluminum, you got a lot of screws to take. Now this one, this one right here is being a bit of a pain. So if there's a screw you can't get out, try bashing it with a hammer. It tends to loosen things up. But this one, oh, there we go. Now I haven't done the magnet test on these ones yet, but I'm pretty sure those are aluminum just based on how much this whole piece weighs and the fact that it scratched up super easy when I was trying to get at it with the screwdriver. So that is aluminum with an aluminum bolt. All right, we got all the screws and stuff removed from here, I think. So, I mean, this one's pretty heavy. That might be a good one, I don't know. 
What about this? How does that come out? Same way everything comes out. Alright, two bits of aluminum. Now, it's got a bunch of lines pointing that way. I wonder what that means. Oh, figure out what that means. A couple little bits of copper. Always nice to find. So, that's another box of steel. Always nice to have somewhere to throw the screws. Now that leaves this. First question, what's that made out of? That's a chunk of steel. Forget about it. No one cares. These are a little more interesting. Now how do we get those out? Well, you know. I'm sure this is exactly how the electricians do it. That's one, that's two. Plastic. Whatever. These are the interesting pieces. You can tell those are copper. They're pretty heavy too. So if you're not 100% sure, just give her a scratch on some rocks. But you can see the copper color come through. Nice chunk of copper. So, the only thing left to do is release this worthless, this steel screw because that will ruin the value of this piece. How are we gonna do that? Come on, guys. It's one. Now that one is definitely a bit more interesting. These are actually, there's some serious weight there and they are going to be silver plated. However, given the price of silver these days, nobody is going to give you a higher price. Okay, I can't, mass generalizations are, I don't know anybody who's going to give me a higher price because of the silver plating. This is just gonna go in as copper number one. So that's decent. I'd say that's, that's pretty more than a pound. So, that leaves one more piece. The circuit breaker. Now that's held together with a bunch of rivets. Uh-oh. What do? Now, I think we've done a pretty fair job of smashing these up. Let's separate all of the fun parts. Now these pieces don't have much of a patina on them but they're way too heavy to be aluminum. Inside you got a bunch of copper. So, my guess, these are silver plated copper. The rest of these we'll have to see. This one does have a patina, but I still, I'm not sure because it doesn't scratch all that easily. So I'm gonna guess that this is actually just some kind of a steel retainer. Kinda feels like stainless steel. Well, that was fun. Let's see where we ended up. We've got... Nine and a half ounces of aluminum. So what is that, half a pound? 45 cents? Three ounces of wire. Really? That's a huge disappointment. And... Almost a pound in copper. So between those two weigh outs, the dirty aluminum and the steel, I think that puts us at about three dollars Canadian. Is it worth it? I'm gonna say no. <coughs> I know, seems crazy, right? That's just at first glance, though. It doesn't mean I'm gonna leave them in the dumpster anytime I see them. For my time, for the modern man, the correct process would be this. Grab them, open them up, cut any wire you find in there, have a look and see if they have any of these heavy pieces of copper in them, and get those out. Grab all the breakers, throw them in the box, and when you have enough of them, list them on eBay as a lot. Let somebody else buy them and dig for the silver. That's my take, you do whatever you want. And then, Everything else, the aluminum with all the little screws in it, leave it in the box, throw it in your steel bin, and call it done. It's not all sad news though. You might find a unicorn. You might find that when you crack these open, instead of finding this silver plated copper, you find one that's just covered in this old school patina and doesn't show like the other one does. Take it, scratch the heck out of it on a rock, and if everything's in your favor, it won't come up copper colored like this one did. 
That's my take on it. That's what I'm going to do with mine. But you do you. And while you're doing you, you leave it better than you found it. Make sure you keep doing the thing.